Urban legends are a horrific story or piece of information circulated as though true, especially one assumed to involve someone vaguely related or known to the teller. It is typically a fictional story rooted in modern popular culture. For a small fishing town, it would be natural to have some interesting urban legend. A young couple is out on the date driving around in their car. The town is a fishing hub in the northeast coast. There are a lot of secluded areas they could choose to hang out and have a little fun. They decide to park at an old, well-known makeout spot by a lake called Spivey Point. I know what you're thinking. Do people really still put their phones down and go to makeout spots? Sure they do. When they still live with their parents, and need a place to go find a secluded spot to partake in displays of public affection, they do it. They get to a nice spot overlooking the town at Spivey Point and park the car. The guy gets out of the car, takes a flashlight, and looks around to make sure it is in fact secluded. The worst thing would be to park right next to some creeper in the middle of the woods. He gets back in the car and starts to woo his girlfriend. As they start to get intimate, they hear a strange scratching sound on the car door. It sounds like metal scratching on the side of the car. Since they are on a mountain, there are some gusty winds they have been hearing the whole time they've been there, but this for some reason was different. The sound drags on the car and sharply stops towards the aft right fender. The girl becomes frightened and begs her boyfriend to take her home, but he dismisses her fears and tries to calm her down. As the scratching grows louder and more insistent, the girl becomes more and more panicked. The boyfriend notices and has a concerned look on his face. He is thinking at least the doors are locked. At this point, there is something happening. Finally, the boyfriend agrees to take her home and they quickly turn on the car. After a couple of turns, they start the car and start driving forward. As they are pulling away, the back right car door handle is pulled by someone or something. The boyfriend steps on the gas more aggressively. As they drive away from the spot they had been hanging out for 30 minutes, they see a tall, dark figure in the rear view mirror holding a hook in its hand. The hook must have been the instrument used to make the metal-on-metal sounds they were hearing. This was extremely unnerving, as they were in close proximity next to this figure when they were in the middle of nowhere alone. They were not, in fact, alone. After a drive that felt very lengthy, they both made it home safely, but they were terrified by the experience. Who was the person at Spivey Point that they saw? They tell their friends and family about the Hook Man, and the story spreads like wildfire. Soon, everyone in town is warning each other not to park at Spivey Point at night, lest they too fall victim to the Hook Man. Curious still, they do some research and look up stories related to Spivey Point in the last hundred years. They discover that there was a murder at Spivey Point in the 1960s. A local fisherman was murdered in his car when he was with his girlfriend. The murderer was the girl's father. The fisherman's name was Jason Garvey. He was a well-liked man in town. His girlfriend was Stephanie Summers. She was known in the town as a promiscuous woman. Stephanie had flattered and convinced Jason to take her out and talked him into going to Spivey Point. Thinking he found love, he was willing to do just about anything for her. He did not know that Stephanie's father had followed them both. Upset at Stephanie's reputation around town, her father confronted her in a fit of rage. When the father pulled his daughter out of the car, Jason tried to protect her, only to end up being penetrated by a rusty hook. With the damage already done, Stephanie and her father buried the body of Jason Garvey at a secluded location up at Spivey Point. They had gotten away with the whole thing 
for a long time until someone purchased the land right where the body was buried and found it when digging up the land to plant crops. Evidence tied Stephanie and her father to the murder, and they were sentenced for life. It is said that Jason lurks around Spivey Point, seeking revenge for his death. Unfortunately, he is seeking the wrong people. Don't go out to Spivey Point. You might just end up coming face to face with the hook man, Jason Garvey. If you want to make out somewhere, get a room. Spooky Sooner here. Uh, I got one more urban legend that I'm working on, and then I'm going to do another historical uh, haunted American places. That seems to be a popular subject, so look out for that. Uh, please like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again.